Good morning. I'm going to read something. Um, yeah, my, the whole internet situation up here is <clears throat> ridiculous. You know what? This painting is pretty good. It is a real painting. I got it. I don't know where it's at, and there's no signature. And I got a few of them. They're old. They're from um, my son's grandpa. My, he died of uh, liver cancer. He he lived pretty long. He was seventy something. He had his own roofing business. He um, he just loved his beer. He liked beer. He had like twenty seven DUIs. He was a local roofer. Um, but he most of his DUIs was when they used to. You know, not charge you up the rear end and make you do all those classes and stuff. Because they used to back in the day, like when I first started waitressing, the cops would, if they knew you, they'd drive you home. Um, and then I hear, I heard the woman who, she was in Congress and she had a whole bunch of DUIs. And um, finally they, they made her quit drinking. And um, she was pissed, and she's the one that made all these new laws. If you get to do, I I do not recommend ever drinking and driving because you can, like especially nowadays, cars are weapons. In the obviously, there was like a, in San Mateo, there was a two trucks. They looked like they worked for the same company, and they crashed on a main freeway. Or highway or something, and um, they blocked the whole. It was all, San Mateo to San San Francisco, huge, you know, traffic jam. That happened yesterday, or maybe it was the day before, at eight o'clock in the morning. I mean, they looked like the the rigs that ran into each other. They looked like they worked together, which you know sucks for them. But all the people that were commuting commuting were in a traffic jam, and there's nothing they could do about it rigged okay there i mean the the trucks were big rigs <laughs> okay so <laughs> I, you guys i haven't made any videos okay Raphael, don't leave the youtube i i'm pretty much left it myself but um i pray for you still that you have everything you need I know when you're um, kind of a new Christian, you go through testings. And a lot of times when I would fail, you know, because I'd be praying for help and I didn't get the help that I thought I needed. But I did get my needs taken care of. Not my wants, my needs. And um, when you're independent, and you've taken care of yourself a long time, and you have to learn how to rely on God, it is humbling. And he always does take care of his people. For the be better. Okay? Okay, so I found this old watch. No, I, I think it's an awake. And it's medieval masters of medicine. I have no idea what this is going to talk about. But I'm just going to read. What? Okay, let me read this. And I don't have the right glasses, okay? So many aspects of modern medicine may not be as modern as some think. In fact, a number of today's common medical practices were already in place centuries ago in some lands. Consider, for example, the history of medicine in medieval times in the Middle East. Chaplain Marlin... Okay, Baghdad, from the 9th century through the 13th, other rulers built and maintained hospitals throughout the Islamic Empire from Spain to India. These hospitals welcomed the rich. I can't, dang it. 
Oh, I can't see. I need like a flashlight or something. Anyways. It's 2012. See? Maybe I can see it with this. Look how blurry that is. Oh, look at... I'm trying to get it. Anyways. Medieval Masters of Medicine. It was at 2012. In the wake. September. You can look this up. I've never read it before. But it was on... Um, look. Doomsday Awake. Um, they used to say... Okay... The faithful and discreet slave. The faithful and discreet slave. Who are they? Okay, and the hundred forty-four thousand that do get raptured up into heaven. But there's a great crowd that inherits the earth. Okay, and I do believe some of the what the awakes. The watchtowers for the organization. The awakes do have true information. Okay, I don't know what this... I gotta look into it. I'm just making a quick video. I'm gonna read it with better light. Um, I'm trying to... Uh, I found a couple of new uh, herbalists that I relate with. And um, <laughs> and they have sense of humors. Some people don't have sense of humors. I apologize for them. <laughs> I'm... I'm a little bit too, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. You're supposed to be kind to, to yourself in words. And that's something I need to work on because people would look, I remember all my life, they would look at, at me and, with admiration and I'm like, why are you looking at me? Like I'm not Jesus Christ because I do know how to do some good works right now. I'm just kind of, I'm trying to clean up life constantly. I'm making, um, I'm drinking coffee. Um, I feel pretty good today. But Ron also, he's not making videos either. I am praying for you because you're going through some heavy stuff. God can protect you. I started hanging out with some fake friends that pushed themselves on me, okay? They stole from me. They're richer than me. They're, they're spoiled brat people that were going to inherit um, millions of dollars, okay, when their parents die. And they were stealing from me and trying. I mean, there are really those people that do that. But being a race, see, that's one thing when you're raised around Jehovah's Witnesses who, who are very, 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 very imperfect. Um, they're, they listen to their flesh. They have wrong ideas and stuff. They're not perfect, but some of them, they do get blessed by the work they do. A lot of them are good people. And, um, I, the self-right, you, you go through the self-righteous. You try to be perfect, all that jazz. Oh, I think it just went off. Anyways, um, I'm going to go. I was just chatting and I'm reading. You can look this awake up. Um, it talks about medieval. I, I'll read it. And then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So I'm going to uh, try to upload this. So I'm praying for everyone. Very, very weird times. But don't you... I'm thinking... Because um, staying busy with your hands in God's deeds... Painting is, is, look how beautiful this is. I don't know where this is. It's a lake. With a little island. You could swim to the lake. My sister used to sneak out with the neighbor friends. And she'd go skinny dipping in the creek next. Not, she would wear her, she would wear her um, bra and underwear. A bunch of them went down there. They weren't doing any hanky-panky. They were just young kids. 12, 13, 14. I couldn't go because I was too young. She was four years older than me. And um, they would go swimming at, oh God, life, God is so good, at a swimming hole. 
and um, there was a barracuda in there, and I did get to see the barracuda because I would go to the creek during the day. They would sneak out like, and they would just enjoy life, a bunch of friends, and swim at the. We'll be able to do that someday. Anywho, I got a million things to do, like usual. I got an ashwagandha plant. Super excited about that. And I'm looking into how to make CBD oil. It says you have to bake the, bake the, um, the herb for an hour. That's one recipe. I'm not following. You got to do like tons of research on the recipes. And I know people are anti-marijuana. They're probably allergic to it. Just like people are allergic to peanuts. What are they going to sit there? Oh, and I'm, I got to say this to Fullerton because I do like his material. But, you know, us older people, Fullerton, oh, he said he's 55. He doesn't seem like it. But um, we do like the hummingbird feeders. And some places need hummingbird feeders, okay? Because they wouldn't even be alive if there wasn't hummingbird feeders. Because he was like, just throw them away. The plastic ones aren't that good. They can last for a little bit. Because they, yeah, the glass ones, I think, are way better. The hummingbird feeders. Uh, okay. Flowers, I do. I understand. And I've got more flowers. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye, everyone.